Greetings, this is Rabbi Akwete. We are about a week to our Passover event in the UK and I want to give you an idea of what we are going to be speaking on. I will attempt to cover two items and if time permits, a third. Number one, the roots of subjugation in Egypt. Number two, the exodus that did not happen. And then number three, the strange encounter at a lodge. Let's look at the roots of subjugation in Egypt. Just as every layer of onion reveals another deeper layer. Likewise, history as viewed by the Bible is made up of ever deeper layers. Not all these layers are accessible to every generation of students, but it is the job of every generation to open new avenues to discover new layers of meaning. I say this to ask a very important question. Why were the Hebrews exiled, enslaved, and oppressed in Egypt? It may seem like a simple question, but a very careful look at the narrative will bring us to an answer that one may not have expected. This is the challenge of the student of the Bible, to approach every narrative, prophecy, hymn, as a fresh experience. We have read these biblical narratives lots and lots of times, and because we have become so familiar with the stories, it's become a handicap in experiencing the narratives anew every time we read it. So I ask again, why were the Hebrews subjugated in Egypt? Number two, the Exodus that did not happen. The story of the Exodus ends in carnage for the Egyptians and in glorious salvation for the Hebrews. But could this story have ended differently? Could the Egyptians also have lived happily ever after? We read in the Exodus that Pharaoh rejects Moshe's original request to let the Israelites pray to their father. And so the 10 plagues are unleashed upon the Egyptians. And only until the final plague, the death of the firstborn, does Pharaoh relent. Yet still, rather than let the Israelites leave in peace, in the last moment, the Egyptians try to chase them down in chariots, only to drown in the sea of reeds. If we closely study these events in the Exodus story, we start to see uncanny resemblances to another biblical story. But in that story, the Egyptians and the Israelites leave Egypt together in unity. Was this earlier story intended to be instructions or a guide for a later Pharaoh? I have to confess that there is a statement that has always bothered me whenever I found myself rereading the biblical text that recounts the ground climax of the Exodus the confrontation of Egypt and Israel at the Sea of Reeds. The Almighty tells Moses, don't worry about it. I have got it all taken care of. I'm going to split the sea. The Hebrews are going to walk through onto dry land. The Egyptians are going to chase after them. And then the language of the text is, God tells Moshe that when that happens, I am going to be honored through Pharaoh, through his army, through his chariots, through his horsemen. Now, what exactly does that mean? Apparently, the Almighty is referring to what is about to happen a few verses later on. Pharaoh's chariots, horsemen, they chase the Israelites, but they are drowned by converging walls of water. You forgive me if this sounds a bit too forward, but doesn't that kind of sound like almost a mean thing to say that you, the Almighty, you're going to take honor in all the death and destruction? I mean, it feels almost unbecoming of the Almighty to speak that way. Yes, it's true the enemies of the Israelites are the Egyptians. And yes, it is better that they be destroyed than be allowed to recapture and re-enslave Israel. But it is one thing to reassure Israel that you will defend her by killing her enemies. It's another thing to say that you're going to take glory and honor from all that killing. Why would you phrase it that way if you are God? You really don't want to miss this session as we try to explain what is going on. I will be honored by Egypt, he says. Now the strange encounter at the lodge. I know you've read it, you have not understood it, but you haven't questioned it. What am I talking about? What is this odd encounter at the lodge about? Which lodge, you may be asking? 
the odd encounter at the lodge where Moses makes his way to Egypt with his family to begin the process of bringing the Hebrew nation out of Egypt. This odd encounter at the lodge is puzzling and is a mysterious passage. Why was Moses under a death threat? Why was he taking his family to Egypt on this dangerous mission? How was he saved? Who was circumcised in this scene? Moses finds himself going to Egypt with his wife and sons. He ends up in the lodge. In the lodge, suddenly, Moses is encountered by the Almighty and he's about to kill him. Zipporah then takes a flint stone and dies a brick miller, evidently on one of those sons. And have their bread miller, the foreskin, come to the feet of Moses. And then God backs up and Moses is saved. The problem is you just had to convince this man to take on this assignment. And on his way, you want to kill him? Don't know about you, but this makes no sense. Really bizarre passage, which really gets overlooked because there are a lot of things to talk about that is not bizarre in the Exodus narrative. But this passage, though bizarre, holds an important key to the exodus that was to happen. I am really looking forward to being in London and to fellowship and study with you all. If you have purchased any of our books, please bring it along for an autograph. If you're yet to, we'll have great discounts on all our books at the event. I cannot wait for April 20th. Be there, 11 a.m. prompt. See you in London. Thank you.